We have just learned that one person has died in that fire. The body was found in one of the burned out homes. So far, the fire has destroyed at least 20 homes. Flames have swept across 2,000 acres. Right now, the fire is 10% surrounded. Now, the fire started yesterday about noon off Shockey Truck Trail and State Route 94. We have complete coverage for you. Dagmar is tracking the conditions on the fire line. Let's get started with Deanna Guevara. She is near Campo. Deanna? And Catherine and Mari, Cal Fire officials have confirmed that the body they found was of an elderly man who was reported missing just down the road. Now, this is along Tierra del Sol Boulevard. We have video of deputies putting up crime scene tape at the home of the 80 year old man. His body discovered here at his home that was destroyed during the fire. Meanwhile, crews are still trying to get a handle on this fire. We're told the head of the fire remains a challenge since it has now reached really rocky terrain. The terrain is making it difficult for ground crews to access the area. So right now they're relying heavily on their air choppers. The choppers are saturating the area, dropping water one after the other. Crews are having to use bulldozers to clear brush and rocks out of the way. Firefighters are also running thousands of feet of hose into these areas and running water. Evacuation orders for Tierra del Sol area south of Highway 80 and Hacumba Valley still remain in effect for some 80 residents. The evacuation center is still open at Mountain Empire High School. We're told although the fire is not burning in the direction of any homes right now, officials are advising everyone near the area to heed the warning. Mother Nature is really dictating this firefight. Um, I mean, here we are. I know we had fog on the coast today and mist. Here in East County, we're almost 90. Uh, winds up to 20 miles an hour. It's a whole different story. And here we are, third day of fall. People need to be prepared. We're coming into our peak season. And still very windy, as you can see out here. But the weather working in the favor of firefighters right now. That fire is burning east towards the border, towards Jewel Valley. No active flame at the moment. But just to recap, 30 homes have been destroyed, and now we have confirmation of at least one fatality. Meanwhile, the exact cause of this fire remains under investigation. Reporting live near Campo this afternoon, I'm Deanna Guevara for NBC7.